What's up everybody, it's Tracking Racing with another update. Uh, just wanted to kind of bring everyone up to speed on how the build has been going, the new turbo parts, the new fuel system, and uh, what's next. So the first thing you're going to notice is I finally have been able to install this beautiful dual fan kit from Midship Racing. I don't believe they're actually producing it currently. I think it's something that they're going to produce in the future. Uh, ended up being a really nice uh, piece. It's great because it kind of gets all the water together and allows it to drip away from all the electronics, which is fantastic. Um, also allows to obviously pull a lot of heat out of the engine bay, which is very important. And in conjunction with the louvers that I have on top, should do a very good job of uh, evacuating all that extra heat out of the engine bay that the uh, turbo is obviously going to make. A um, few other things that we uh, have now in play. Finally have the air to water intercooler installed in place and ready to go. Um, beautiful setup. It's pretty tight in there, uh, but it works well. The air intake sensor uh, for the map system is on the bottom of the front side right here. Uh, obviously you can see we've got the blow off valve turbo smart blow off valve over here very very <laughs> short routing from the turbo to the intercooler you can see that there's just one coupler right there well two couplers technically but just one area coupled together that's probably about four inches and then the amount of volume of air that's inside of the intercooler and that's all there is between the turbo and the throttle body which is right back there uh, it happened to work out really, really well with the uh, oil catch can setup I already had going on. These dual catch cans right here. Also, you'll see the vacuum block is a little bit more full than it was last time because I've got a few more things I had to bring vacuum to. One is the uh, fuel pressure regulator. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, the other was the in uh, in-house map sensor that the Link Monsoon ECU has attached to it. And again, we'll get to that in a second as well. Uh, more things on the turbo system. A lot of people have been asking about the Oilless Comp Turbo. This is the 2871 Oilless. They're, they're brand new Oilless. I think it's a Oilless 3.0 technology. It's a beautiful setup. That's how it's able to be oriented in the position that it is. And yes, there will be a filter on here. Uh, I'm going to end up going with one of those turbo guard filters and a water sock, and that should definitely keep it uh, keep it proper, breathing well. Uh, but I bet it's going to sound amazing in the position that it's in. Um, also, have the headers finally mounted up, or headers uh, turbo manifold. Definitely a beautiful system. Brings the turbo out to the side, which gives it such short routing on the cold side. And then the exhaust is mounted up, drops down right there, is going to be blown through the diffuser on the bottom. Then we've got our Turbo Smart race port right there. I think that's going to be a beautiful addition to this system. A few other things that we've, uh, we've done. Uh, the air to water system has been updated. I've got a new reservoir that's over here that's basically taking the place of the wheel well. I had to cut out the wheel well. I'll end up adding a bit more in there, but that's where the reservoir drops down. And then I have my Japsco air to water pump directly below it. So it literally drops down, feeds right in, and then that goes up to the front. You may also notice that I've got new uh, braided lines uh, all vibrant braided lines for, for everything that's been updated. Uh, they're really extremely nice lines. Clean everything up pretty well. Um, so one of the biggest things other than the turbo, the intercooler that's been updated uh, since the last time it was running is actually the fuel system. So you may notice here, we'll get a little close up. I've got a radium fuel rail. I've got 1700 ANSU injectors. Um, there's a few other bits that you have to get with the rail, like a regulator block off and a few other things um, that I also have along with it. I also designed uh, my first little fuel system here. That's the uh, feed line coming over across and down. And then the return line comes over here where I've got the radium regulator. 
which is also already plumbed up to the vacuum block as I said earlier and then I also have a custom lead here um, from my uh, harness my boom slaying harness which again we'll get into in just a minute um, going along with the rest of the fuel stuff the lines come to the inside and go to the inside of the car right here where I have the uh, radium fuel filter and then I have a AEM 340 E85 pump in the in uh, in the stock hanger. Uh, one of the things that you have to do to be able to make return lines work with the stock hanger is actually plumb in a bulkhead fitting. So I have a bulkhead fitting for the return and for the feed. And then I also had to modify the pump just slightly uh, or the pump housing just slightly for the pump. Also, again, all these nice little braided looms and lines, that's all vibrant stuff, which is uh, quite nice and actually a lot cheaper than I thought it would be or less expensive than I thought it would be. So I went ahead and redid all of my wires to it. On the opposite side, you'll notice the Monsoon Link ECU and my Boom Slang Jumper harness. Both of those were purchased through Midship Racing as well as a lot of this stuff. Uh, I definitely appreciate them getting involved and helping out so much with this build. Um, so I've got... Everything pretty much set up, ready to go. I just have to add my fuse and relay panel that I've worked on before. I just haven't gotten inside of the car yet. Um, but once I get that in, I should be ready to start her up and get her back to, uh, to Larry at the dyno. So, things are going extremely well. I appreciate all the follows, everyone being interested in the build. I'm as ready to get it back on the road as all of you are. I promise you that. Uh, I'm very excited to see how well it runs with the new fuel setup, the new ECU, and the new turbo. Um, I, I know this comp turbo is going to make some really fun noises. All the turbo smart stuff is just going to be uh, uh, so much nicer than the old stuff that I had. Um, it's not that my old turbo system wasn't great. Um, it's that it was just all unused parts, and this new turbo setup is, is that much better. Um, the new fuel setup is going to be amazing, and I really shouldn't see a cap um, over than what my engine's built for, which is really the engine's probably good for about 550. I'd say everything else is good for about 600. So uh, we're not going to get to that much power. Uh, the next time that we're at the dyno, I, I, I probably won't be pushing too much more power than we already had in her. Um, it's just going to be about getting the setup back to running on everything that's new and then learning how to tune it and move from there. Uh, I'm still on a relatively stock transmission and I really need to beef that up before I do anything too crazy. Um, I've thought about running about 2 PSI more on the next dyno just for the fun of it, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm really just in it to try to get it back on the road, start doing more uh, you know, tuning of the entire setup, suspension and all, and uh, just get it back driving on the road so I can enjoy it just a little bit. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. A few more modifications to go and we should be back at the dyno and having some fun videos and, and making lots of noise. Again, I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, thanks to all my sponsors. Uh, I, I can't wait to get more things going with this build. Um, right now, it's just all about getting it to the point where I can get it to the dyno and then uh, getting it back on the road again. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope everyone has a great day. And uh, when in doubt, keep building.